So the only reason I wanted it low is because I feel like if there's more star version, so I have a little wider gear, and then we'll do a tighter version. It's great. It goes. Uh, my name is Byron Warner. I'm the director of photography on the short film Helio. Um, we are shooting at Lacey Street Studios right now. It's our last day, uh, well, last day of this part of the shoot. We're shooting six days. Um, this is a film that is about, uh, well, it takes place in the future. I won't give away what it's really about, but there's some crazy stuff that goes on and people are running around uh, rooftops and exteriors and craziness. So we've had to light like crazy and uh, shoot very fast. Uh, the biggest challenge of this movie, I think, honestly, has not really been the shooting for me, it's been the prepping because um, there's all kinds of sequences where people are jumping off buildings and landing and, and, and all that kind of craziness going on and, and there's a lot of green screen elements and later on we're going to shoot wire work and we really had to figure out exactly where each thing was going to happen but sometimes, you know, our character comes out of one door on one roof and then you turn around and you're on another roof and then you shoot his feet on another roof and then when you shoot him falling he's on another roof so we really had to figure out um, exactly where everything was going to happen and put a picture by every storyboard and so I think my brain was probably going to fry in pre-production more than actually shooting. If I'm going to do something like this I really want it to be ambitious and I want it to be something that's really cool. I mean I don't want to go out and shoot a romantic comedy as a short film or something silly. I want something that's challenging and interesting so uh, Teddy's been great. I mean Teddy's uh, he's one of the nicest guys you can ever meet and, and, and the best combination that he has is that he's so nice and generous and wonderful with everybody but when when you ask him a question you know he's open to your opinion but he definitely has his own opinions and he, and he, he can be decisive and make a decision when he needs to and he can also um, be very collaborative and, and there's not many directors that are that way and also he just if he has an ego he doesn't show it and and that's that's you know, that's, a, that's a great thing for a director in terms of making the crew all feel great it's not easy to shoot six nights in a row and and there's there's two things on this shoot that I think really made a big difference and that's the food and that's Teddy's attitude and, and both of those really make it a very fun and pleasurable experience and, and, and it, it starts from the top down, it's been a great set. Oh, the stunts have been great, I mean Jesse's a pro, it's top notch, so and we've got a great gaffer, Steve Lundgren, and we have great visual effects and so when it, when it looks great and we've got you know, our cameras there and Dennis doing our steady cam, you know, it, it, it's amazing because if, if, if everything looks cool and you're just pointing the cameras and, and craziness going on, I mean, it just makes my job so much easier because I don't have to hide anything. I just get to, you know, just get to shoot and, and just do cool stuff because they're doing all this great stuff in front of the frame. Oh, Barrett's been great. He's been he's been fantastic. I mean, he's he's a pro. He, he's he's done this before. He knows what's going on and uh, he uh, he makes it really easy. And action, Barrett. My, my favorite part of the shoot so far, I think, has to be. The marketplace. I thought the costumes were amazing. I thought the extras all looked great. Um, the art direction came together really well. I just it was it was really 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 cool, and I thought that um, everything just went beautifully last night. Action.